Today we are filming outside. Yes, I just wanted to go touch some grass after the CES announcements, guys. I don't know about you, but I've been glued to my phone and it's not been good, okay? So the 5090, like a lot of, I said it's a bargain. I really do think the 5090 is a bargain, guys. And let me tell you why. This thing is $2,000 and has 32 gigs of VRAM, that alone, if it was the same performance as the 4090 and had no other features, that alone would warrant that price increase. It's like, just look at other graphics cards that had 32 gigabytes of VRAM. They cost two, three thousand, four thousand dollars um, right now, right? So coming into this sector, it's not only about performance, this thing's giving us a lot of features too. I saw on Digital Foundry, I mean, look, and I know it's the DLSS Kool-Aid, okay? I'm not like, saying freight frames are, are, are key, right? I'm just saying, you gotta hand it to them, you know, literally 10 times, almost 10 times, it's like nine times something, but almost 10 times the FPS in Cyberpunk um, with the LSS 4, kind of crazy guys, kind of crazy. And when you're already on the level of performance as a 5090, 10X that, that is insane, boys, that is insane. Pretty good value card, guys, I mean, 32 gigs of VRAM, what else do I have to say? Sure, it's two grand, it's not made for gamers. I'm gonna say that it's again. The 5090 is not made for gamers, dude. Like, I don't know how much times I have to say this, but keep on seeing people in the comments like, wow, it's such a bad value. 5080 is the card for gamers, guys. And, you know, sure, it's $1,000 for 16 gigs, but the features you're getting on this thing, you're getting four media encoders, two decode, and to encode, that's really good, I gotta say. It's not like it's cr crazy, like blowing me away or anything. It's just like, Nvidia had every right, like they could have totally just been so greedy with this launch, but they didn't. You know, they didn't, and that's pretty nice. Like, I don't know what to say. Oh no, the dogs, the dogs are coming after me. What the heck, bro? Woo! The dogs, oh my gosh, she's gonna chop me off. Okay, so we are going to switch. I'm gonna run across the street from these dogs in slow motion for you guys. So let's get on it. It's probably really windy here. Um, we are at the park. I can go touch some grass, it's dead. Oh yeah, backlitten, just how we like it. Woo! And it, it feels good to be outside. It's crazy, because last week, you know, I was telling you guys, it's just beautiful here in Texas. Um, you know, 65 degrees, you know, sunny. And now, I mean, it's still sunny, but it's freaking cold. It's like 20 degrees and I'm just walking out here. Just doing it for you guys so you get a different taste of Silicon Steak, you know, a slice of life. Me just walking around talking about graphics cards out in nature. Kind of crazy. 50, 90 guys, I, it's a bargain. It's a bargain, okay? NVIDIA, <laughs> Jensen's losing his leather jacket money, giving us that 59 for two grand. I mean, you should see what cameras cost, bro. Cameras without bodies cost like three, four grand. We're getting a freaking alien technology, 32 gigabyte, 512 bit GPU for two grand. Are you kidding me? That's a good deal, bro. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm less, you know, 50, 80. It's not like I'm saying that's amazing or anything, but it's half of the 40, 90 and it's half the price. So it doesn't feel like we're getting ripped off with it. You know, sure 16 gigabytes is a little long in the tooth for that price, but you're getting the features, man. The features add up. These NVIDIA features are starting to really matter, bro. Game devs are crutching on these things. And without them, like Intel and NVIDIA, or Intel and AMD, particularly AMD, because Intel has AI-based upscalers. I mean, you are in trouble, bro. Your 7900 XTX, you better pray that gets, gets AI-based upscaling, because if it doesn't, that thing is dead in the water, bro. Who cares if you have 24 gigs of VRAM? Um, 
these games are getting harder and harder to run, more RT intensive. And, you know, if AMD drops support for RDNA early like they did with UDNA or with uh, Vega, it's not looking good for you 7900 XTX folks. Cars, so loud. You guys can go on a walk while you watch this video with me. Now, how about that? That would be kind of cool. Hopefully I'm not like breathing too loud. I know this lap mic's right here, but yeah. So, I mean, that's just my thoughts on the 50 series. Like I'm, I know I seem kind of hype, but I mean, like I said, I love new hardware. I love new stuff and it's hard for me not to get super hyped. I'm not gonna jump on and buy one of these things right off the bat or anything like that. Um, but like I said, if Nvidia wants to send me a 5090, you know, 5080, even a 5070, I'll accept it and I'll test it for you guys. But I'm probably not gonna go out and buy any of those things. I have a 4080, so it doesn't really make sense to upgrade to anything other than a 5090. How does it look here? I can't even tell. I'm back exposed. I'm not sure if this looks right or not. Yeah, but I mean, AMD's really gonna have to uh, pull something out, man. They are gonna have to uh, wow us with the 9070 XT. I mean, give us something good, you know? But yeah, you guys are giving a lot of good points in the comments section. Um, you're saying things like, um, you know, fa these are fake frames. It doesn't matter. And like, I get it, you know, we're just, that's where we're moving towards where, um, we're getting more software advancements than hardware advancements at this point. But like these software adva advancements are actually accelerated by hardware. Like there's hardware that accelerates these, these things. So it's kind of cool to see that PC gaming saved by Nvidia. Did Nvidia of all people save PC gaming? That is a good question, and I would say no. Um, I think NVIDIA is the people who kind of created PC gaming, and they'll probably die by their hand, actually. So they have the power to kill it uh, because they created it, and that really hasn't changed. So if they wanted to, they could have killed PC gaming with this generation, but I think they wanted a little bit of uh, you know, support just in case this AI bubble pops this, this uh, generation. So. They gave gamers a good deal. They're gonna get a lot of revenue from game, gamers this time around, I, I guess like they always do. And yeah, and the AI bubble pops, then uh, we're gonna get some good deals too. I mean, let's just think for a minute here. Let's just think for a minute. If you got a 5090, I mean, what would you do with it? What kind of monitor are you running? I have a 4K 144 Hertz mini LED monitor. And you know, the 5090 might actually be too much for that. <laughs> Even with like path tracing and stuff in some of these games because with dlss you're getting upwards of 200 something so i mean it's like the 5090 is like more power than anybody needs right guys so that's kind of why it's not even a gaming card this thing is for ai this thing is for content creation 5080 is the max gaming card really and if you look at that if you look at inflation i mean you know 1080 ti came out at what 700 dollars and what 2080 super 2080 around 700 dollars inflation by that point it, it should be equal to more than a thousand really if you price those things the same so it's not a horrible deal you know 3080 was also 700 dollars that was a pretty good deal but never really got it for that price did we and it only had 10 gigs of vram now we're getting 60 percent more vram and you know it is a little bit more i guess it's close to 50 percent more expensive but let's be real inflation's probably about that or more since 2020 to be it's kind of sad but it's just true i don't think it, nvidia is the bad guy this time around as much as we all thought it was going to happen as much as we all thought nvidia was going to be the big boogeyman and take our lunch money and our kidneys and uh leave us in abiza didn't really happen so 
I don't know what to, I don't know what else to say, guys. I think some people just wanted to be angry at Nvidia because they like it. Me personally, I just thought they were like going to become like that evil, like I don't know, most. <laughs> I thought they were gonna become like the most profitable evil company in the world. Like, you know how the, like the movies dictate, like with AI, doesn't seem, you know, they might be going in that direction, but this generation, I think they gave us a decent deal. So what do you guys think? That's just my thoughts. I think the 5090 is a bargain. I think the other GPUs are fine. I don't think they're trying to rip us off this time. And it's all up to AMD and Intel to compete now. I mean, Nvidia's competing with themselves at this point. That's really their main competitor is their last gen to be honest with you guys. And it's up to AMD and Intel to come out with competitive products. And Intel's got $250 on lock, just up to AMD, get something around $400. That's my thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think. And go touch some grass. Silicon Steak, signing out. Ever review every spec he's on deck from GPUs to CPUs he knows it all no question too big no detail too small he's got the knowledge he's got the skill when he drops his taste the haters stand still fanboys can cry but they can't deny silicon's